my name is Mackenzie Antos. I'm a sophomore at UWGB. A few of my hobbies include singing, reading, and writing. Some of my favorite things are my favorite movie, Ant-Man, my favorite TV show, which is New Girl, and my favorite candy, which is Jolly Ranchers, and my favorite color, which is purple. I am taking five classes this semester here at UWGB. Two of them are English classes, two of them are science classes, and one is an education class that goes towards my major. My favorite class right now is probably my creative writing class. I love writing my own stories, so this class is something that's really fun for me. All of the professors that I have this semester are really nice, and a lot of them are really funny too. They're very kind considering that we have to learn online this semester, and they're always there to help us if we need it, just like your teachers are for you. Out of all the different schools in Wisconsin, I chose to go to UWGB for many different reasons. One of the biggest reasons why I chose to go here was because I had two high school teachers that I really liked that graduated from here. They said that this school had a really good education program, which was something that I was very interested in because I knew I wanted to be a teacher once I graduated college. This school is also far enough away from my home that I felt like I could be independent, but it was also close enough that I didn't have to miss my family too much. And one plus side to being here at UWGB is that we get to have our own private bathrooms. So I get to share a bathroom now with less people than I had to share one with when I was living at home. Hi guys, my name is Jenna and I'm a junior here at Green Bay. Um, my hometown is Union Grove, Wisconsin. And I chose Green Bay because I really like their education program and I am here to become an art teacher after school. And my interests include basically just drawing and painting and I really love to cook with my roommates. And I just really love being at Green Bay because I have a lot of fun with my friends and my roommates while studying so I can graduate hopefully in the next year. Hello, my name is Mai. I am from Whitewater, Wisconsin, but was born and raised in Green Bay. I am currently now a senior at UWGB, majoring in early childhood education. And after I graduate from here, I hope to pursue my master's degree and hope to become an academic advisor. Some of my favorite hobbies include cooking, singing, and playing with all of my little baby cousins. My name is Tamara Correa. I was born in Puerto Rico. I moved to Green Bay when I was just about four years old. So I basically lived my whole life here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I am currently 19 years old. I have two siblings. One is eight and the other one is 12. Um, I'm planning to major in education and psychology. I am passionate about anything that has to do with children. I love children. Babysitting is like one of my hobbies. Um, one, another hobby of mine is music. I am also passionate about, me, about music. I've been singing since I was eight years old. When I first moved to Green Bay, Wisconsin, I didn't know any English at all. So that was a process of about four years to learn English and perfect it so that I can learn how to read and how to write it. I am super happy and thankful for all my elementary teachers and family members who helped me out to get to that level of knowing how to talk English. I could say this was kind of my first language now because that's all I really speak, that language I only speak with really right now. Um, some of my goals in life are to be an amazing teacher, to have a good successful career, to have good years in college. I want to travel all over the world. I, that's been a goal of mine forever. I want to travel, meet new friends, have a family of my own someday. Um, but I'm super excited for my college career. It's my sophomore year and I'm super happy about how it's going. I'm super thankful for all my helpful professors, all my classes that I've had, and all the things I've learned. I've grown a lot um, educationally and mentally. Um, I've become more positive in everything that I do. Um, so yeah, those are my goals to just be a great and amazing teacher, travel, and just learn more about myself. Um, UWGB is a great university. I'm super thankful to have been accepted there into such an amazing college. I've met so many friends. 
um, and I highly recommend anyone who's checking out colleges out, UWGB is the place to go. And this is a little bit um, about myself. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about housing here at UWGB. There are three different types of housing here at UWGB. There's the residence halls, the shared bedroom apartments, and the private bedroom apartments. First up, we have the residence halls. This is one room that two people share. They have their own private bathroom in it, and this is where most freshmen end up living on campus. Next up are the shared bedroom apartments, or the trads as some students call them on campus. These apartments have two rooms with four people living in them, which means that you will still have a roommate when you live in these apartments. These apartments also have their own private bathrooms, but unlike the residence halls, they also have their own private kitchen and their own living room area that the roommates can use to hang out with each other. Finally, we have the private bedroom apartments. Just like with the shared bedroom apartments, there are four students that live together in this apartment. Unlike the shared bedroom apartments, there are four bedrooms, which means that each student will get their own private bedroom. Like the shared bedroom apartments, these apartments also have its own little living room area, a kitchen, and a private bathroom. This is the type of apartment that I live in at UWGB. I have lived on campus at UWGB for the two years that I've been here, and I plan on doing it again the next two years. I really like to live on campus because I feel a lot more connected to the campus community when I live here. I also love to live on campus because there's always something to do. There's many different events that the school puts on, like trivia, specifically SpongeBob trivia last year. They show movies in the Christie Theater, and they also do my personal favorite, which is bingo. Even though this year is a lot different than last year with events, there are still so many things that are going on on campus. And the campus is even putting on virtual events that we can go to, like virtual bingo, to help us make friends while we're here on campus. One of the best things about living on campus, in my opinion, is being able to sleep in a little later before class. Since you're already here living on campus, you can just wake up a little later before your class and still make it to class on time because you only have to go a short walk to get to your class. And there have definitely been some days when I've woken up late and I'm very glad to be living on campus because now I won't be late to class because it's only a five minute walk from my building. Personally, I really love living on campus. It's really fun. You can hang out with your friends and your roommates and build relationships. You are right by your classes and you can easily walk to them as well. Living on campus was right for me because of how far away my hometown is and I just enjoy being able to have a home away from home on campus. Although it is great to live on campus and get the student dorm life experience, I am living what you call the commuter life. That means that I come to campus from my own home and live outside of campus. Living off campus gives me the advantage to save more money in school and become more independent. I love being able to focus just being a student when I'm on campus, and then when I leave, I am able to focus on other aspects of my life outside of being a student. Life off campus for me so far is pretty normal. Um, I have a part-time job. I work two or three times a week. I tend not to work as much because I want to focus a lot on my schoolwork and focus more on my family and helping them out here at home. Um, yeah, and since I live at home, it's pretty convenient because I don't have to, um, I don't have to like pay for my rent or nothing because my parents are into that. Um, I live with my parents and my two siblings. And then I say one positive thing about living off campus is that you get to save up more money because, like I said, you're not paying for rent and like you know like food and all that stuff so that's one positive thing about living off campus um there's a lot of resources out there if you still live off campus for example now that we're in covid like you can like do have tutoring um brought to you on like virtually you can talk to your counselor through the phone have appointments set up through the phone meet with your professors 
um, through video chat. So it still feels like you're there in person, but you know, it's still pretty convenient if you live off campus. You have more time to do other things, to work, um, to focus more on schoolwork. On my days off, where I when I don't work, I basically spend the whole day studying. I look over my planner. Um, I look over my classes, see what's due when, and then I add it to my planner. So then I feel more organized that way. Um, but yeah, and even though I'm not there in campus that much, um, I still talk to my friends through FaceTime. If we have to work on an assignment together, we do it through FaceTime. We help each other out. You know, we stay communicated. Um, so that's a pretty good thing about living off campus. You know, there's so much technology out there, which makes living off campus so much more convenient. Um, but so far, I do not have any complaints about living off campus. I actually like it. I enjoy it. I have more um, opportunities to do other things. Like I said, save up money, focus on family. Um, and yeah, basically, I feel like, you know, every day I'm much more organized. I learn more about myself being off campus as well. I guess I get to do things that I enjoy. Um, and yeah, I don't have any complaints. Like I said, life off campus to me... Um, it's going pretty good and I'm super happy on how it's going. Wow, that was a lot of information you guys just got. I know you're probably getting a little tired of just sitting in your seats and listening to us talk. So I want all of you to get up and do 15 jumping jacks. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds to do them. Okay guys, good job on the jumping jacks. All right, now that you've all gotten your energy out by doing some jumping jacks, let's talk about the different majors that you can take here at UWGB. The top five majors offered are biology, computer science, nursing, education, and psychology. There's also majors like theater and dance, art, engineering, and mathematics offered here. If none of those majors sounded very interesting to you, don't worry. GB has 54 different majors available for you to take. So there's something for everyone. And if you don't know what major you want to do right now, there's a lot of resources here at GB that can help you find a major. And there's also a lot of different classes that you can take so that you can better find something that you're interested in, so that you can major in it later on. Now let's talk about what it's like to learn online at a college level. Honestly, it's a little difficult to have to learn online because some of my classes are pretty hard, but my professors are always there to help me with whatever I need, and they're very considerate that we're all going through a tough time right now, and they're always ready to give help where I need it. Even though the majority of my classes are online, I don't just spend my time doing homework. We do a lot of virtual classes, like over Zoom, which is really nice because it means I get to see my professors and my other classmates face to face. It's really nice to be able to see these guys face to face because it helps me know that I'm not alone in taking this class. Even though online classes means that we don't get to see a lot of people face to face, there are still many different ways that you can make new friends on campus. And one of the best ways to do that is through clubs and organizations. There are 130 different groups that you can join on campus, from the bowling club to different sports like Ultimate Frisbee, to sororities and fraternities, and even a fishing club. I personally am part of a sorority on campus. And joining any one of these groups offered is a great way to make friends and find new things that you're interested in. Even if none of the clubs that I talked about sound very interesting to you, I'm sure that you can find something fun to do in any of the 130 that are offered. And you might find something new that you like by trying a club you've never thought to try. And if you can't find a single club that interests you, you can always start your own club here on campus. Clubs and organizations are just a great way to meet new people, make friends, and find more things that you're interested in. I really appreciate you guys listening to all of the things that I just talked about. 
So I'm going to leave you guys off with a joke. Why was the math book always worried? Because it had a lot of problems. According to legend, the phoenix lives for a 500 to 1,000 year cycle, and when death approaches, the bird builds a nest, the nest is ignited by the sun, and the flames engulf the bird. From the ashes, the phoenix is reborn. Emerging from the ashes, the phoenix symbolizes rebirth. The symbol describes the closeness of campus and the community, staff, students, and everyone representing the university. Something that can be found in every housing building on campus are lounges. These lounges can be found on every floor of each building. These rooms have comfy couches and chairs, tables, and TVs that students can use. A lot of students will use these rooms to watch movies, to hook up gaming consoles too so they can play games with their roommates or other friends in the buildings, or to just study in because it, it is a quiet place for them to study. Another big thing that these lounges are used for are things called building events. Building events are put on by the RAs of the buildings. RAs are other students in the building that are there to make sure that everybody in the buildings are staying safe and getting along with each other well. These building events are always different, but they're always something fun to do. One year, they put on a tundra luau, which was just a Hawaiian themed party in the lounge where you could get snacks and play games. Recently in my building, we had an event where everybody could go and get a free plant that they could have. I always have fun at my building events, and I feel like it really helps me get to know the other students that live in this building with me. And my freshman year, I went to a lot of building events so that I can make friends with other people that lived on campus. This is the Cress Events Center. It offers a lot of things for students to do on campus. It is also an athletic facility that a lot of students use. The Cress has a pool that offers swimming lessons to students and holds the battleship event every year. It also has a rock climbing tower that is free to students and it offers classes. And if you're interested in a turf field for playing indoor soccer, they also have that. And you can play other recreational sports. We also have a basketball arena for our games or we have other smaller gyms for recreational use. Lastly, they have a workout area for students to use that has treadmills, weights, and a track. Cress also offers yoga, Zumba, and weightlifting classes, and this year they have virtual options for students to follow at home as well. One of the most visited buildings on campus is called the University Union. This is the place where you'll find yourself having to go to the most. The University Union offers different places to charge your devices, print out homework, use a microwave if you brought food from home, watch TV, and even find a comfortable couch to nap in during the long gaps between your classes. The Green Bay campus features a wide variety of food and beverage services on campus. The marketplace is inside the Cloud Commons, which includes burgers, wraps, sandwiches, pizza, and all natural food options, and much, much more. The campus also provides a coffee house, cafe, convenience store, and several vending options. Located in the lower level of the union is called the Phoenix Club. The Phoenix Club offers students and staff a great place to relax, enjoy a few games, and grab a quick snack to go. Here, you can enjoy entertainment like bands and comedians, craft night events, billards, and even trivia games. And just right upstairs across Cloud Commons is the bookstore. If you ever need textbooks for the semester or want any Phoenix apparel, the bookstore is the place for you. Textbooks can be ordered through the bookstore in lots of different ways. You can purchase and or rent the textbooks in person, order online and pick up for free here on campus or choose to have them shipped straight to your house. One of my favorite favorite buildings um, at EWGP is definitely the University Union. That's where you're always going to find me there. Um, there's a lot of different things around the Union. There's a Cloud Commons, there's a Grill, there's a Phoenix Club, the Student Life, um, there's a cafeteria. They have a lot of events going on in the cafeteria always. There's like Bingo Night. They have 
so many nice things. They have the, the little bookstores there as well. They have a Starbucks there, which is my favorite part. That's where you see me in the mornings. Life at the Union is super, super fun. That's where me and my friends are at 24-7. We go in the cafeteria, we talk. Their food is super good as well. Um, there's also the Phoenix room where they put the events there. Like for example, they had an event on the subject on the class of psychology. And I learned a lot there. Um, so they have little events like that so that you can learn. Not just have fun, but so that you can learn once in a while. You can just go to their website, look at their calendar, and it'll tell you what room in the union um, everything's at. They have GB nights. I haven't been to one of them, but I have been invited to them. Uh, my friends enjoy it all the time. The bookstore, you can find everything, like you WGB gear. They can find that's where your books are at. Um, everyone there is super, super helpful. I go there all the time and ask for help, and they're always there to help me out to find my books. Um, if I need like a little material, like a little notebook or a pen, I just go to the bookstore. Everything's super close. And they have a little, they have a bank as well. So if I ever have to go to the ATM and get some money out, they have it right there. Um, the desk, they have people to take your pictures or your ID. They answer all your questions. Um, yeah, I get, like, I meet a lot of people there. It's interesting the amount of people I meet there every, like, you know, once in a while. And I become friends with them by just walking through the union, by just sitting down at the cafeteria. The Phoenix Club is super, super fun. They have games that you can play down there. It's like a little restaurant. It's like a whole little environment. I love it there. Um, their grill is amazing. I'm friends with some people who work there. Their food is super good. They're super sweet to you. Um, highly recommend just going to the union if you haven't already. It's the place where you're probably going to be at 24-7, just like I did. I do my homework there. There's little corners where you can sit down, relax, or with a cup of coffee, enjoy. But yeah, there's also many events um, put there. And this, it's interesting the amount of events that you can go to to learn. Not just to have fun, but like I said, to learn. Um, yeah, and just the Phoenix Club is another place of entertainment. I love the Crest Center. But I also find myself in the Phoenix Club, enjoying time with my friends, playing like board games, you know, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, in a conclusion, like everything at the Union is super fun. That's a place to have fun. That's a place, you know, to make friends at um, and just to have like a good time. I won't be the first to tell you that college is hard. College or school in general will test every little bit of you and it is up to you to see how far you would want to go. One advice I always tell my friends is that it is okay to not know what you want to do after high school, but that doing something is always better than doing nothing. For me, I came to college wanting to be a doctor, but after my first semester in college, I knew that it wasn't for me. The next three years, I bounced from um, different majors and was also taking classes that interested me. And crazy enough, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to graduate with a two-year degree from the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. And after graduating, I had to be truthful with myself, which takes a lot of courage to do, and still admit that I was lost. So after many, many, many talks with lots of friends, teachers, and mentors, I learned that teaching and advising was what I wanted to do. So I reapplied to school and made the decision to come to UWGB. So even if you don't know what you want to do or want to be when you grow up, that is perfectly okay. Do something that you are passionate about, even if it takes you longer than your friends. You can't just skip ahead to where you think your life should be, so enjoy the journey. It will definitely be worth it in the end. UWGB was definitely a process, but it's something that I don't regret going through because it made me stronger, it made me more positive, and it made me realize what I really want in life. Right after I graduated um, from high school, I had a job, but I depended on people to take me to work all the time because I didn't have my license. So it was hard also to save up money because I didn't work as much, I had other expenses to take care of. Right after I graduated too, I had no idea what the world and college was like. They never like explained it at high school, but I never really paid attention to what college is like. How does it? How does the system work? 
so i was brand new through the process i was worried about the financial process because i didn't have much money my parents can't afford you know like the whole semester of you know we don't have that much money to pay right away but luckily there were people at uwgb who were there to help me out through it all i was surprised at the amount of support that i got um everything was so much easier to understand and that i learned more about fafsa and the financial aid and that really helped me out a lot and i'm super thankful for that system um, because without it i don't know if i would really be in college right now um i was able to like you know work a little more the money that i had saved i put it in there um and that helped me out a lot especially um you know like food expenses at school and all that, and all those things and you know what i'm not gonna lie there were times where i felt negative i think it's normal for everyone to feel that way somehow. I was negative, I was like, I didn't know what I wanted in life, did not know what career I wanted to pursue. Um, but as time passed, I realized what I wanted with the support of people from, you know, counselors from UWGB, I was able to find out that my major, I wanted to do education and psychology. That's my passion, that's what I want to do. Um, but yeah, going through negative things sometimes, going through that process, sometimes we have to go through that because it makes us stronger. It's normal to feel down. But I want to tell you, don't feel discouraged. College college is important. College is going to get you far in life. It's going to get you a career. Uh, it's going to help you deal with like having not so much stress in life in the future so that we can depend on ourselves. We don't have to depend on people like paying for things, none of that stuff. College is important. Um, if you really know what you want in life and you know your dreams and you give it your all, the most important thing, you give it your all and you try your best, I can assure you that you're going to get far in life. I know that that's the road where I'm headed. I'm going to get far in life. College is going to help me get through it. I'm going to always be positive about these things. Don't let yourself down. Just know that you're not alone in this and then there are people who are going through the same thing and are thinking the same things that you have thought in the past. So don't give up. Go to college. It's going to change your life for the good. Um, and even though you might go through things, just know that at the end, everything that you went through, every challenge in college, everything you went through will pay off.